to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Naomi. Uh, if you're not new here, you and I get each other. But uh, sorry I've been MIA for the past couple of weeks. Um, this little guy right here, seven stitches, don't want to talk about it. Um, if you guys are really curious, just let me know. I'll make a video on everything, but uh, it's a long story and it's very complicated and I don't want to talk about it right now. So today's video is going to be a huge collective haul. If you guys have been following me for a little bit, you know that I have been on a no-buy um, here the past couple of weeks. And so basically I broke that no-buy because I'm a worthless lob. So um, it wasn't my fault. We went on a trip to New Orleans, and I never get to go to New Orleans. I never get to go anywhere, really. We were always working. We're always busy. Um, so I went a little bit crazy. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you're still here, bless you. That way. Okay, the first thing we're going to start off with is Lush, because it's, it's bigger than me. It's a really big bag. We're going to start off with that first. Um, and what we're going to go through quickly, because they're easier to go through, um, is like the masks and the shampoo like hair stuff that I bought so let's go ahead and do that right now um, So the shampoo that I have been loving from them is the curly whirly shampoo Looks like that cute little sticker. I love lush so much guys, and this is for um, like crazy frizzy curls, which I have I have a lot of hair um, and I really enjoyed what this did for my hair it just made it very healthy it has helped stop the breaking um, I know this in conjunction with other products has really really made a huge difference in my hair so I was excited to pick up the full size because I did try a sample of it out because y'all know this stuff is expensive I got some of the American cream hair conditioner which looks like this and it smells so good like watching me try to open things with my little like claw hand oh it smells so so good I love the way this stuff smells um it's like strawberries and cream but it's just it's like a really heavy conditioner so I've never tried this one before um I've tried the retread I think from them that's what I actually tried with the curly whirly so I'm gonna let like let you guys know how this worked out for me but I'm really excited the two masks <sighs> my husband and I hold on hold on my husband and I share a lot of face masks and things like that, so whenever we buy stuff, it's kind of like a junction, like, junction? Nope. It's like a um, joint effort with our skin, and so it's, like, worth the money because we're both using it, you know what I mean? So we picked up the cup of coffee, the cup of coffee face and body scrub, and it smells like coffee. Guys, I'm, <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm a digit down. It's very difficult. <sighs> smell it smell it I wish you could smell it it smells so good if you love coffee oh man and this is just supposed to like be a hydrating like energizing and like just it makes your skin look real nice okay that's the whole point point. and then the mask of magnanimity mag magnanimity mag mag magnanimity mag magnanimity mag, mag, mag I don't know how to say that I'm an English major and I can't I can't say those things but there you go mask of my mag I'm gonna stop it smells really pepperminty or like <sighs> spearminty like um, the starlight mints you guys know what I'm talking about the starlight mints that are pepper like the spearmint ones so it smells like it smells amazing um, and it's just to kind of like help draw out the icky stuff in your skin and my husband is very very oily skin so we're hoping this is gonna help with his acne and his oily like oiliness and me I'm just hoping like I can use it kind of as a spot treatment when I get those really ugly hormonal pimples here's to hoping kids so that's all of the like face and like hair stuff that I got and then we can go ahead and get into this monster with that double chin attractive good so this is the twilight bath bomb I love the little like star and moon design on it the purple color um it's supposed to like explode with glitter and like wonderful charming lavender smell it smells amazing so I'm really excited to use that bath bomb because I need help sleeping and relaxing and just all of that stuff I love this is gonna be a lot of bath bombs okay it's a lot of bath bombs 
I doubt this is going to get me restricted mode, but it's called like the sex balm. And this is the one that has like the little flowers in it. Probably should stop showing it, but it's got the little rose petals. So whenever you like put it in the water, it explodes and it's like just sensual smells apparently. But it just smells really good. It's like jasmine and sandalwood and those are like two of my favorite smells of all time. So obviously I had to pick one of those up. This is the one my husband actually picked out because I was on the fence about it. But he was like, it smells so yummy. He loves vanilla, by the way. This is the Butterball one. You can't really see like super well. There you go. You've got like the little flecks and stuff of different colors and like the orange. And it just smells like a really yummy like cocoa butter vanilla-y scent, you know, supposed to explode and do pretty things in the water. This is the Big Blue Bath Bomb, and oh, it's one of my favorites. Mm, it just smells so clean. It just reminds me of the ocean. I know it's supposed to, um, but whenever you put it in the water, um, it explodes and fizzes, and it turns the water like this gorgeous, perfect blue color, and there's like seaweed in it. And it just makes your skin feel so soft and smooth. And you just you just feel like a beached mermaid in the best way. This is the Lava Lamp Bath Bomb. It is so cool. Let me kind of like... One of the little... Those little guys fell out, but that's okay. I can just drop him in. And he'll be okay. But... Uh, this one smells like oranges. And almost like a light vanilla e smell i'm not 100 percent sure to like make like the really cool psychedelic water and like i think it has popping candies in that one i would tell you but i'm using my phone to film because i don't phone to film because i don't have a camera but we're making it work yes yes a little robot guy he's so cute isn't he cute it's the little robot i'm not sure what his official like ickle sickle ickle robot or something like that he's really adorable he smells like lavender he makes the water turn blue and he's just really he's like lavender and chamomile he's very calming very relaxing one here oh this is my favorite i love this so much okay everybody loves this bath bomb if you don't if you've never where, where have you been where have you been look at it look at it in all its glory oh it's so gorgeous also, how cute are these little bags? Yeah. Um, this is the G intergalactic bath bomb, the one that like explodes with glitter and like the galaxy and everything. I almost dropped it. That would have been tragic. And he just smells amazing. I'm gonna play like In Space by Ludo every time this bath bomb is like in my water. It's the most perfect bath bomb of life. I love that thing. And then finally, I got this bubble bar. I'm not sure what the exact name of this bubble bar is, but look how cool. I think this was part of their Mother's Day collection, but it smells amazing. He's a little melted, <laughs> just a little bit, but he smells so good. Um, and if you're not familiar with bubble bars, they're so cool. You just break off pieces of them um, under your tub and it foams up and it makes bubbles and like really soft, wonderful, luxurious bubbles and you feel like a queen, so, or king. So that was everything that I got from Lush. Pause, please. So this is a little tiny baggie that I got from MAC. Um, and I never go to MAC just because I have super sensitive skin. A lot of their things break me out. So what I went out to pick up that caused such a problem was the MAC Next to Nothing face color, which literally says Next to Nothing face color on the bottle. Like, it's going to be real sheer. Like, I'm wearing it today. It's gorgeous. Um... It's like the easiest, here's the bottle. Typical MAC packaging, gorgeous packaging, heavy. It feels really nice as always. Um, has no scent to it, which I prefer. I don't really like scented foundations and stuff like that, but super, super sheer. I have the color Light Plus. And then I also picked up the matching powder in Light because they didn't have Light Plus, but that's fine. Light's fine for me because I'm so pale. So this is the packaging of the powder super cute right it's the normal little standard matte compact the updated and you get your little your little puffy and I've already I put the plastic back for you know purposes but I've already used it like I used it today because I'm obsessed with this powder and I'm obsessed with this face color it is beautiful like this is everything I want and more in face products as far as just an everyday 
easy. It was so easy to do this, guys. I love it. It's beautiful. Can't say enough good things about the product. Oh, it's a bag. And it looks really full, but I did not buy this all at one time. Mom. I did not buy this all at one time. This was some stuff that my mom um, picked up for me. And then this was some stuff that I picked up over time as sales and things. So, and then like some basic items. What I have in the Ulta baggie. That's actually from Ulta. So, they were running a sale on their all-nighter setting spray. And this is my backup one. I got two because that's how big the sale was. It was a very... It was a very cheap sale so I went ahead and picked up two of them because it's one of my all-time favorite setting sprays so this is the old packaging which I am guessing is why it was on sale I picked up two of the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tells No Tales collaboration and this is their like duo with a lipstick on one end and then a lip gloss on the other so I got Risk It All and Sparrow, and this one's Risk It All with the gold lip gloss, and Sparrow is one with the cooler, like, duochrome -y. Anyway, I just thought these were really cool, and I really was impressed by the colors, and I just, I wanted them, so I grabbed them. So, over here, you have Risk It All, and there's the lipstick, there's the lip gloss, and then that color in the middle is what you get when you put them over. This is Sparrow lipstick, and then the lip gloss and the color in the middle. And then the next thing in this bag is stuff that I have purchased more recently from Ulta. I don't know where that concealer is in there. I've had that concealer for years. It's the Rimmel Color Match, if you're wondering. Not Color Match. Match Perfection, in case you're wondering. I've had this for like ever. It's a good concealer. So what I picked up from Ulta this time around was the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. Like this. And it's not the one in the squeezy tube. It's... The one that looks like this. It's real pretty. I love the packaging. And I picked up the color Child Star. And I've worn this a couple times. Um, there's the color right there. It's really pretty. Um, I've worn it a couple times. It wore well. And it stayed on well through like food and stuff. But it did make that, like, that, ring, that ring around the inside of your mouth. And I'm not a fan of that. But I think... Like, if you had the ability to, like, take it off and then reapply after, like, five hours. Be really good. I picked up the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Long Lasting Water Resistant Lip Top Coat. I picked up one of those. Packaging is so bomb. And then I picked up the color Fever. You guys can, like, read it or see it or whatever which is like this gorgeous fiery like peachy it's beautiful and i was so surprised here's the component it is so pretty i was so surprised um like that it dried down which i mean it says that it does but i didn't read the packaging because i'm useless a little chunky but it's really pretty there it is it dries down to a almost like matte finish. I hate the applicator, by the way. It's like a little tiny paintbrush. But so far, really cool. The thing that I'm most excited for, I cannot wait to pick up the other palette. Drop the brush. Hold, please. Is the packaging. There's the mirror that's blinding you. And then here is the actual colors. So beautiful. I just don't even want to touch it. I just want to like present it to people like look how beautiful it is. so that's everything that I got from Ulta um and we're gonna go ahead and jump into stuff I got from Target some of it's basic it's actually pretty basic so just bear with me um this is my favorite detangling spray it's the Suave Kids all my 90s babies put your hands up <laughs> I love it so much um and it has like the little facts on the back I'm sorry this is just like it's never done me wrong. And they don't make detangling sprays for adults, okay? They just don't make detangling sprays for adults. So I need this. This is important. This is vital. So happy to have this back in my life. Picked up another wet brush. Um, this one is for like super thick, super curly hair. I love wet brushes for my hair. This one is different from the original wet brush. If I had my other wet brush, which ran off somewhere. It just goes through my hair like super easy. And it 
is beautiful and I love it and I needed another one because I lost my other wet brush because I am a doofus. It was so inexpensive. It was like eight dollars, nine dollars and at Ulta they're like twelve or thirteen. Go to Target, get your wet brush. Don't let Ulta jip you. Up uh, a voluminous carbon black or like the voluminous original whatever the the famous mascara that everyone raves about. And then the last like skincare slash makeup item that I picked up was this Pixie Glow Mist. You can see that I've been using it a little bit. Um, and I like it. It's supposed to like supposedly like a dupe for Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I've had the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And it does kind of the same effect. Um, for cheaper for less product but I like if I were gonna be like oh you purchase and I had the money to buy the Tatcha I would buy the Tatcha because this is nice it's just not it's just not the same you know what I mean it's just not the same thing that I've picked up that's my collective haul I hope you guys enjoyed watching I know that I'm nosy and I enjoy these kinds of videos so I hope you guys enjoy these kinds of videos and hopefully the stitches will be out soon in the bum hand and I can go back to making makeup looks for you guys. So um, send me any suggestions or like if you saw anything in this haul that you want to like want more thoughts or review or just anything of that nature on, let me know um, down in the comments below so that way we can chat about it and have more content come your way. Yes? Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. And yeah, come talk to me. All my social media is listed down below. Can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to talk to you guys some more. And um, yeah, peace out.